This is a portable alkaline ionizer, also known as an alkapod. What this does is convert any regular water into alkaline water, and thus improving a person's health. In a moment, we're going to do an experiment to show exactly what kind of health benefits this can bring you. To begin, I'll show you the basic operation of the alkapod. To begin, take the cap off. Then, take out the filter inside. Now take regular tap water, and fill it up until it's above the filter level. There. Now replace the cap and wait approximately 3-5 minutes. Now, I'll show you the pH difference between regular tap water and water that comes from the alkaline. First, pour regular tap water into glass A. Then, water from the alkaline into glass B. Now, I'll use laboratory grade pH reagent to show the difference in pH. You can see a very, very visible difference. Regular tap water is a light blue color. That means that it's only slightly alkaline. However, you can see that regular tap water after being in the alkapod turns a dark blue, showing that it's much more alkaline. Here we have a pH chart. This will allow us to more clearly see the difference between the pH of these two glasses. Glass A, as you can see, is regular tap water. This is going to be between 7.0 and 7.6. However, glass B, water that comes from the alkapod, is going to be between 8.5 and 9.5. Next, we're going to show you the oil emulsifying properties of normal tap water versus water from the alkapod. First, I'm going to take a little bit of edible oil and add it to both glass A and glass B. Now we're going to add a little bit of normal tap water to glass A. You can see, even after stirring, it's very, very difficult for the oil and the water to mix together. They stay separated in a very, very clearly defined line. Now watch what happens when we use water from the alcohol. You can see there's a very, very large difference between the two. Here the oil has become opaque because the water has been mixing in with the oil, showing that it has much higher emulsifying properties than glass A. What this next experiment will show is the effect of alcohol on the alkalinity of the body. Your body is already a natural weak pH. It's already naturally a weak alkaline. You can see here, by using the pH reagent. But this represents your normal body's condition. The blue color shows that this is an alkaline. Now, however, if we drink alcohol, see what happens. You can see it becomes a yellow color. What does this show? This shows before we we're in the 9.0 to 9.5 range. However, after adding the alcohol, we've dropped to 7.0 to 7.6. That shows that the alcohol has made the person's body acidic. Now we'll see what happens when we add water from the alcohol. As you can see, very clearly, before we were somewhere in the pH area of 7.0 to 6.6. However, after adding water from the alcohol, we've returned to a healthy 9.0 to 9.5. Next, we're going to show you the effect of smoking on the body. First, we're going to take a little bit of water from the alcohol. Add a little bit of pH reagent.
This blue color you can see represents the state of your normal body, slightly alkaline, corresponding to a color of about 9.0. However, let's see what happens if you smoke. As you can see very clearly, after adding smoke to the bottle, we've now dropped from a 9.0 all the way down to a 6.86 to a 7.0. Now, let's see what happens if we add more water from the aqua pod. You can see very clearly, we've now returned to a state of natural pH. Next, we're gonna show the effects of glucose on the body. Here we have a little bit of premixed glucose. First, we show the natural state of the body, slightly alkaline, using water from the aquapod. Using a little bit of our TH test reagent. You can see we have the blue color. Now, watch what happens if we add glucose. Now, let's see what happens if we add more water from the alcohol pod. You can see before when adding the glucose, we are at a 6.6 to 7.0. However, after adding more water from the alcohol pod, we returned to a healthy pH of 9.0. Next, what we're going to show you is the difference between pH between three liquids using the handy pH meter. We have three glasses here. The first is going to be A, pure tap water. The second one, glass B, is pure water. And the last number three is water from the alpha pot. Here we have regular tap water. This is pure water. And finally, water from the alpha pot. First, let's test the pH of the glass A, the tap water. Reading of about 7.7. .7. Next, we'll test glass B, pure water. Here we have a reading of about exactly 7.0. And finally, we'll test water from glass PC, which is from the alcohol. Here we have a pH reading of 9.1, the strongest pH in showing an alkaline pH.